Today, guys, we're reviewing the 511 Tactical Fanny Pack. This is meant to conceal carry a firearm. As you can see, this pack is quite slim. It's about two inches wide, about 14 inches long, and I believe, yeah, six and a half inches tall. So not very big at all. If you're looking for a large fanny pack, this is not what you're looking for. You have a couple small pouches on the side here. In this side, I have some keys. It's about as big. It will not fit a credit card. As you can see, I have a, like a hotel room card here. These pouches are fairly small, so just something for some keys, something like this. Then we have a nice durable buckle on this, as well as a plenty of strap. This strap is, I believe, advertised to like a 52 inch waist. I'll be cutting it down and uh, because I don't need that much strap. Let's take a look at the main pouch on this. Oh, hello, we have a firearm in here. Here I have the Sig Sauer P238 and it is unloaded. You can see I have it in this trigger guard that's built in. These are two elastic straps, one for right-handed carry and one for left-handed carry. And something I want to point out while we're talking about right-handed and left-handed right now with this bag is they've made it ambidextrous, very nice, in the fact that both their quick access straps are inside. And you can see the Velcro out here matches, the Velcro, matches up to the Velcro right here and let you keep one of those tabs out of the bag and stood out of the way. So while you have it on, you can quickly and instantly draw the bag and access your firearm. So let's take a look at this. This is a little 380, six plus one with the extended grips. It is unloaded guys, nothing in the chamber here and nothing in the magazine. Very nice little gun. This gun fits in here very nicely. As you can see, these straps are a little um, tight to get into, especially the first few times. So I would recommend you practice loading it with an unloaded weapon before carrying it with a loaded weapon. Got concealed carry permit. You can stuff up in one of these things. Got your extra magazine stuff in there too. That makes it a little tighter with that concealed carry. Flashlight, that holds it real nice. You got your wallet in here. This is kind of an emergency on the go bag or a necessities bag. Just super bare minimums because as you can see, it's not a super big bag. It's designed to be that way, to be super slim. So let's pull this up and take a look at how these extra things in here bulk up to the size. So the size, as you can see, is not much affected by all those bulky items in there because the gun is so small. Now, let's try this with a little bit bigger gun, see how this works out. Glock 19 is a super popular gun, so let's take a look at that one. I have a red gun, Glock 17, and that one fit in here as well, but the Glock 19 fits in a lot nicer, and we have that one here. And this one's empty as well, as you can see, empty magazine, empty chamber. So we're just gonna place the magazine in here so you guys can see. That works. Like I said, it's a good idea to practice loading this up with an empty gun the first few times. So this is a little more snug fit, but you can see this bag is gonna do a decent job of swallowing this gun right now. Wouldn't guess there's a gun in there except by the weight. This bag does an awesome job of containing it. So let's add some more bulky things in here. Say you want to carry a couple magazines with you. These straps hold onto these magazines really well. They're a double stack. Um, you've got another magazine here. Let's just instead carry a flashlight. Take a look at the, how this thing works. Now, as you can see, this is quite a bit bulkier. We've got a, almost a full-size gun, it's compact, and we've got a double stack mag, flashlight, wallet, and we can put our keys in here too if we want either side. But for being a small bag like this, this does a decent job of concealing the Glock 19. 
And so let's open it up again. This is a nice bag to um, keep in case of an emergency. You got box for your keys, your gun, an extra mag, a flashlight, maybe in the middle of the night, you keep this by your bed or something. You've got your wallet right here. I'm in love with this bag. I'm gonna be using it a little bit more, checking it out. I really like it. Something that I was a little concerned about when I got this bag is that I might not like the horizontal draw, the gun being placed in here like this, instead of straight up and down. I'll show you, I'll cut to a clip here and show you guys how in fact easy it was to draw like this. These tabs made it especially easy to just open the bag and go for the gun. So let's cut to those clips. Thanks guys for watching.